Nelson. Um, I work for the Bureau of Land Management. I've been here for almost 10 years and I was with State Parks in the same area, so just like over the fence, um, for 10 to 12 years prior to that. Um, I am native to this area in terms of not being an indigenous <laughs> person, but in terms of growing up in San Francisco County. Um, so it was, and I've lived in other places, but it was really important to come back here. Um, I, my background is in environmental management, probably similar to a lot of you guys, not all of you, um, but with a hard focus on botany. And um, what I really wanted to do was become a botanist, and I ended up getting this job as an internship. And my, so they definitely deal with a lot of mining operations, a lot of grazing operations, but in California that's a little bit different. We do those things, we manage about 15 million acres here in California, uh, but 10 million of those acres are within the National Conservation Land, so they are protected at different levels. The light station started off as a historic site, for obvious reasons, um, then became under congressional designation an outstanding natural area, which is a recognition of both our cultural and ecological value out here. Did the people not come at all? Did, did you see different groups of people using uh, the lighthouse here, or, or is there no real change? No, there's been, ch there's been a lot of changes, and I, I would say the changes have been more on the BLM side of things than on the, the our visitor side of things. Hmm. So, uh, BLM was really proactive about COVID. We were shut down for about a year while everybody was kind of trying to get a handle on what was happening. Shut down for the public. Yeah, shut yeah. down for the public. Well, and even for us, we were, BLM still is on vaccine telephone. Um, so if I don't have to be here, right. then I am working from home. Oh, okay. okay. Um, we also modified our tours in an effort to kind of change that. So our tours used to be a, a guided walking tour for about two hours. So you would be with a docent or one of our staff who would be interpreting the site for you over the course of those two hours. But that meant that there's a group of 15 plus people hanging out in close quarters with one of our guys. A lot of our volunteers are 70 year olds or above and they have other health issues and we were trying to avoid that. Um, so we modified the tours to more of an open house format. So they now are smaller groups, it's reservations only versus just walk up, which is what we used to do. So there's no more cash handling or any of that. Um, they are still with a docent, but always outside. The talk is maybe 15, 20 minutes long and then they're released into the wild to go explore the light station <laughs> on their own. And we have docents kind of scattered around to answer questions if they have them.